All right, Kenny. If you could match Ben up with anybody other than Amy, who would it be and why? <laughs> I think that Ben should go out with all three girls at once. Okay, what's going on? Francia, for all the ladies out there, how would you describe Darren in real life? Well, he's a dork. Um, no, no Rico Suave, he doesn't have that swagger like Ricky does. He's just very energetic, and he does treat his girlfriends better than Ricky does. Oh, I don't think so. Shay, if you could play any other character on the show, who would it be and why? I'd probably say I love um, Alice. I think she's hysterical. I'd love to play her. I think all of her lines are absolutely genius. Maybe it's her breasts. They're huge. Kenny, what would you like to see for Ben and why? Ben would win the Powerball lottery, and he would buy a Learjet and fly to Bermuda, and he would start a sugar plantation and become a billionaire, and, uh, and then become the first global president and uh, take the first manned space flight to Mars. Let's see what we have here. This one is for Shay. For all the ladies out there, what is Ken like in real life? Kenny is actually kind of very similar to Ben. Kenny's very smart and he knows a lot of stuff about a lot of things and um, he's definitely done his research on everything that he talks about. He's kind of, you know, shy. Good morning, this is Ben Boykovich. But once you get him going, he can just like wow you with all the information he has stored in his brain. Um, and he's just an overall really cool guy. It's good to know. Darren, tag us off. Your character has really evolved over the last three seasons. What would you like to see for Ricky and why? I like playing the nice guy. You know, I was playing the bad guy for such a long time and now it's kind of cool to see my character be responsible, take initiative, and I'd really like to continue that. Come on. <laughs> this question's for Ken. Your character, Ben, works in a butcher shop. What is your favorite cut of meat? I'm gonna say um, prime rib, but it depends where you get prime rib. Um, but most of the time, to play it safe, filet mignon. I think that that is the most tender, not the most flavorful though. Prime rib is the most flavorful. When prime rib is good, it is like heaven on a plate. All right, next question. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Megan. Ooh, good one. Fans want to know, is Greg a good kisser? Is Greg a good kisser? Is the sky blue? I'll leave it at that. <laughs> if you got to write in a new character into the show, explain the character that you would create. I would create a character who comes in and is the new gardener at the Jurgens house and he's incredibly hot and he, uh, he gardens the entire garden and Amy falls in love with him. I would write an evil twin for Ben whose name was Ken, and who looked exactly the same. In fact, it would just be me, split screen, um, and who would wreak havoc and like light things on fire and, and, and generally be ridiculous. Uh, your task, reveal an on-set secret that the fans don't know about. You cannot trust any of us to do anything, and that includes India. If I help you out, you'll never learn to do this on your own. And then I'll just be a teenage mother enabler. Well, I don't want to out anyone else, so I'll tell a secret about myself, I guess. I'm like super grumpy in the morning, and everybody knows before 7.30 not to talk to me, really. I straight up go in my pajamas, I change when I get there, and my hair is crazy. But then once 7.30 comes and eat my breakfast, I'm totally fine. Don't call me before 7.30. Who has the most embarrassing story on set, and what is it? Well, I do a lot of scenes with Greg. And um, he gets really nervous, and when he gets nervous, his face gets red and he starts to sweat. I'm so cruel to him, and I'll just, all I have to say to him is like, do you feel a little hot in here? Is it a little hot? And he's like, don't say that! And he starts to sweat, and his face gets all red, and he gets really embarrassed. This was my first job, so the first time all the actors kind of mess with me uh, the first day I shot and told me, when there's a mark on the floor, you go past the mark, like about three feet. So when we were shooting and it was my coverage, I like, went past the mark and the director couldn't get me on camera and everybody was in on it and they were laughing at me and I couldn't understand what I was doing wrong. Dun, dun, dun. Who is the most dramatic on set? That would definitely be Kenny Bauman. <laughs> he is so dramatic. She's on crack or, or something. Raging hormones are like crack, or at least that's what I understand. Francia. 
she's awesome, but she uh, can have like just sassy moments. She's a sassy girl. There you go. And like I said, I'm going to get killed by Francia for answering these questions. I feel the same way. Who is most dramatic on set? Me. Next question. All right, so I have a question of my own for Megan. Megan, what is Frank and Daryl? Frank and Daryl is my band that I started about a year ago. We opened for our brandy's dad, Billy Ray Cyrus, at the House of Blues in Anaheim in California, which was really fun. And I'm having tons of fun, and that's all that matters. Darren, this question is for you. I know that you're a very talented rapper slash singer slash performer, so I was just wondering if you could maybe perform a little original piece maybe for the crowd? Rap? <laughs> no, I'm definitely not rapping. This is ridiculous. I'm done. Thanks. Yeah, no more questions. <laughs> what up? <laughs> oh my god, I did it, guys. Wow.